obviously the film is based on the book. But for the last, I believe, nearly 20 years, Running in London has been the play. And I think most people's experiences of Woman in Black, certainly in England, would be to do with the play. Right. Did that have any influence on your creative process at all? Um, not too much. I mean, I'm a great admirer of the play. Um, but I think one of the things I admire most about it from a writer's point of view is how it was adapted so perfectly with theatre in mind. Um, and it was, you know, in a way it was inspiring because it, it was an approach that uh, suggested, you know, that's what we should be doing, that we should, you know, look at all the, the those kind of key points you want to make hit as a filmmaker and use all the tools that are at your disposal in cinema and, and adapt Susan Hill's story in that way while staying true to the spirit of it but make it, mm. um, you know, the essence of a film and a scary film. <laughs> It's certainly scary. <laughs> I mean, with regard to that, you, you sort of mentioned the, the whole filmmaker thing. So that I'm not a hammer aficionado, but a <laughs> friend of mine who is brought up that you, you seem to hit certain hammer points, certainly in the earlier scenes. <laughs> well, I think if you're making a film that's in a sort of Victorian haunted house, ghost story arena, there is, there's inevitably going to be areas that you intersect with, with the law, I suppose. I guess. You know, but I, I don't think we, we certainly didn't consciously um, pursue ha a, to make it a, feel like a Hammer film. I mean, some of them were quite campy, the ha Hammer films, yeah. which we're, we're definitely not. I mean, the no. quite a mass But also there's a, but there's a big, there's a whole range of Hammer film, isn't there? So there's the early there Terence Fisher Dracula's and... Yeah. and and Frankenstein's and, and the Quatermass films, and then there's the late, really rather lurid sex exploitation movies, <laughs> yeah, yeah. which you know. So when I, but but I tell you what was really interesting in terms of the Hammer thing was was the um, the rich sort of saturated colour palette that mm. we wanted. That mm. I guess does echo with some of those early mm. Hammer films. And I mean, you've also there are obviously elements you've fitted in for the film. You've added additional bits, particularly I know the ending which. Let's not spoil it for our uh, mm. viewers, but the ending is sort of very bleak in the play and the book, mm. and you have a slightly less bleak ending. But I understand that you sort of there was more than one ending shot. Um, no, no, no. 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 that's <laughs> sorry. We, no, only, we only ever shot that ending. We only ever shot that ending. There was a, an additional element that we cut yeah. back yeah. to do with some of the other characters in it but um no the ending in the script was the one we shot ah fair enough <laughs> but you also you have sort of things like the the scene where daniel's character is basically uh, and i'm trying to allude to it without <laughs> yeah. giving the game away but you know the bit where uh, he's trying to reunite hmm. that's a new element isn't it oh yes that is yes absolutely i mean i think just in terms from the book of, you mean uh, yes, it yeah. is. Uh, that is, in a sense, uh, yeah. I mean, uh, there are there are parts that are added that kind of have grown out of the original story. But as I think I said, I think it was just getting Susan Hill's seal of approval, and at her sense that we were true to the spirit of it means that I don't mm. think we haven't done kind of crazy Hollywood Hollywoodizing things. Um, mm. I think they're things that grow quite organically out of what's suggested in the book. Well, it's important if you're making a, scare, a horror film, uh, it has to be scary. And what we wanted to create a film, as you say, that, it's that sense of ever-pervading fear is what we were after. That's constant um, cumulative sense of dread and fear that sticks with you and weighs on you, like you've got pressing on your chest. Um, but also at the same time, those, those beats that really hit hard. So, you know, if you buy a ticket for a horror film, you want to be scared. And, and that's definitely what we tried to achieve and, and, and hopefully what the film seems to be delivering for people. Thank you very much, chaps. Thank you. Cheers.